We are broadcasting now. We got fucking sushi and Sonic cake batter drinks. I'm just stalling for a little bit of time to uh, wait for people to tune in. Thank you for watching Studio 17. Thanks for having me on tonight. Once again, I'm just kind of stalling for some time. For, oh, we got one viewer, so no need to fucking stall anymore. Oh, and the, uh, looks like the chat's working finally again, so that's good. Yeah, these Sonic Shakes are new. Um their cake batter and one of them is Oreo cake batter. I didn't I when I saw the ad on television, I just saw it for cake batter, but apparently there's an Oreo version as well. So I think that one most likely be better than just cake batter because I really am a fan of Oreo flavored things. Um, I go to baseball games and I get an ice cream in a uh, waffle cone. If you don't get it in the waffle cone, you're fucking stupid. And, uh... Yeah, the Def Pop, right? Yeah, this was uh, from my 2012 gathering. I picked this up, my first gathering. Um, but anyway, when I go to these baseball games, I just love the fucking um, Oreo flavored ice cream. They've got chocolate chip cookie dough flavored ice cream. And I like chocolate chip cookie dough, you know, that's a pretty popular one, I would think. But, um, to me, the Oreo was just the best one, cookies and cream. But anyway, right off the top, I want to give a shout out to, uh, Jacob Quessenberry, my brother. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Jake. That's why I got these, uh, cake batter drinks. Because the main thing we're going to be doing tonight is sushi. And I've got some little facts about sushi. But uh, we'll get into that in just a second. First, we've got like, this is sashimi, which is the raw fish sushi. And then we've got, uh, these are crispy crab rolls, okay? And uh, the sashimi sushi was $12.49, and that's 530 calories. And in that is salmon and tuna and uh, shrimp. I got these from Earth Fair, was the name of the grocery store. And it's kind of like a health food type of a grocery store. Um, the, this is very good sushi. I've had it before. And... Uh, there's very like specific ways to eat sushi and like it's very serious to the Japanese. I watched videos about it earlier. I was trying to find, uh, let's just see so you can get a better look at the sushi here. They've got uh, this, they've got, like I said, it's like a tuna and salmon and like this one is like a shrimp one. Um, very serious to the Japanese because here's some crazy facts. So you gotta spend 10 years to become a uh, sushi chef. The first two years, you're just like a busboy to prove your loyalty um, to your trainer. And uh, you have to, like the knife has to become like a part of your body. It's, it's crazy, they treat it like a religion. Uh, one of the sushi culinary expert um, Japanese men in the video is saying like uh, you're not really an apprentice you're a slave so that seems kind of over the top um, you work for knowledge not money I don't know if that's true in like every case but um, it was in the video I was watching and there's a uh, also etiquette to eating sushi 
It's okay to use your fingers to eat cut sushi rolls. You don't combine ginger and sushi or ginger and soy sauce. The ginger is more of like to clean your palate. And uh, I, it, all right, so the container comes with these like little packets of uh, soy sauce and of course like uh, wasabi and the ginger. I'm gonna pour some soy sauce onto the plate that I have here. Because, like I said, there's etiquette to sushi eating. I'm going to take a piece of the fish sushi. And I don't know why they come in these little grass things. I mean, obviously, to like uh, separate the uh, sushis. They just look so funny to me, these little grass plastic pieces. So, from my understanding, you're supposed to take the sushi fish side and dip it into the soy sauce, not on the rice part. You dip the fish into the soy sauce and put it fish side down onto your tongue. Mmm. Damn, this is good. I usually like to eat sushi. Well, I like to eat the rolls with chopsticks. But like I said, there's so much etiquette to eating sushi correctly, but I'm not going to follow any of that shit at all. Um, because I like to just eat it however I like. Let's jump into one of these fucking cake batter drinks. Mmm. Tastes like cake batter for sure. This is for you, Jake. That was a lot of just like the whipped cream on the top. Mmm. That's pretty good. The cake batters were, um, these are small, a size small. Just the cake batter is uh, $3.29. The Oreo one was a little bit more expensive, but not much. It was $3.79. So I guess that's like, what, 50 cents more or something like that. Let's try the Oreo one. Now we're going to be a little bit lenient on our review of the sonic drinks because I did buy these earlier in the day and I stuck them in the very far back of my refrigerator to keep them as much the way they were when I bought them as I could but you know their consistency and everything is like somewhat altered Let's use the chopsticks to uh, eat the Oreo whipped cream. Mm. I just want to get a lot of this whipped cream off because, you know, it's just whipped cream. I've had whipped cream before. I want to taste what the drink tastes like, so. Okay, now we just got the Oreo drink. Hmm. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I like the Oreo cookie flavor in there. I think it kind of distracts from the cake batter effect, is, which is what they're... I ate all the whipped cream. I might... I might have tried that Silent J, but uh, I think all the whipped cream is gone.
It's not bad. The Oreos are yummy. And the cake batter shake. But, like I'm saying, like, I think I like the pure cake batter, if that's what you're selling. Now when I go back to the cake batter, that tastes a bit too plain. I don't even know what the fuck. Let's go back to the sushi. Um, let's try a shrimp piece here. So I'm just gonna try this without any soy sauce or anything, just the way it is. Mmm. That's good. Another fact about sushi, it's all about the rice. You would think it's about the fish, but um, to the in the Japanese culture, the rice is like the main thing. Seems like that doesn't make sense, but that's the way it'd be. Let's get some ginger to cleanse uh, my palate. Here was an interesting fact that I had read about sushi is um, for centuries the only law pertaining to the emperor of Japan is that he never can eat fungu, which is puffer fish, due to risks involved, not even on his birthday. So fungu is... Uh, the Japanese word, I guess, for the type of sushi that is made from puffer fish, where most of the puffer fish is like full of poison, and only like a small part of it is actually edible, and it's the most dangerous kind of sushi there is. And um, I think in the training of becoming a sushi master, is um, you have to make some sushi using the puffer fish and then you have to eat it yourself and it could kill you it, it's uh, poison yeah the Simpsons episode of the puffer fish you know it's weird the puffer fish you would think it would just make its whole self poison completely but it was almost like nature is like uh, you know as long as most of me is poison they're not gonna go for like this small, minute area, right? Well, guess again, you didn't really count on humans as being as tenacious as they are. They'll, like if they can find an animal and eat it, they will. Um, all right, so again, here's just a close up of the fish. Like again, it's just like raw fish and sushi originated in Japan as like a fast food which uh, you know makes sense because you don't have to cook it it's just completely raw I guess you have to cook the rice but uh, alright let's try it again with um, dipping into the soy sauce and here is like another bit of knowledge for you you do not shake the soy sauce off it's actually bad manners comparatively to like shaking your dick in public according to them Mm. That shit just slaps, you know what I mean? If you like sushi. Because either, I guess you either like it or you just straight up do not, you know? The cake batter is good. It's as if you're just drinking cake batter. But it's like a shake. Let's um try some of this crispy crab. Now the crispy crab, it's 410 calories. And if you read the ingredients, it's natural crab flavored seafood. So basically imitation crab meat not real crab meat 
So I'm going to take this opportunity now to plug uh, a channel that is coming out very soon called Juggalo's Review. Please check it out. And if you're not subscribed to Studio 17, subscribe to this channel. Again, thank you guys for having me on tonight. I appreciate it so much. But yeah, Juggalo's Review. Check that shit out. Um, and if you're not subscribed to Ross TV, subscribe to that channel also. And there's a new episode of Sidetrack detailing where I've been the last six months, not online on the internet. And um, it's detailing details about the new channel that's coming out. It's called Juggalo's Review. Stay on the lookout for it. And there's other information in the sidetracked episode that that's on Ross TV. And uh, that's got information about Tune Tuesday, which is coming back. And um, just such stuff as that. And stay tuned to Ross TV because there will be more updates via live shows like this that I'll be doing. Like when Juggalo's Review does go live, I'll probably do a live um, show on Ross TV to announce and say, hey, it's out there, go run off, go run over and check it out. So anyway, let's jump into uh, the Krispy Krab. So the rolls are, you kind of have to like poke into them, I feel like, with the uh, chopsticks first to like separate them. Because they're like separate rolls, but when they're in the container, they're like kind of like stuck together. So I like to first like kind of like chop chop it all up. So let's just start with a piece um, by itself without any add-ons, no wasabi or anything. Hmm. I love the crispy sprinkles on top and the. Yum yum sauce style of drizzle on the top. I feel like yum yum sauce is like rednecky ranch shit for Americans. Probably like what they sell to to people here in America and not over in Japan or just anywhere, whether you're in America, Canada. The sushi that you get in these areas you know, maybe unless you get to an authentic, like, pro place, you're not getting what they get over there. Um, wasabi, here's another fact, is a root. Wasabi, a lot of people think it's horseradish. It's not. It's actually a root that originated outside of, no, sushi originated outside of Japan. And, uh. Yes, um, wasabi is a root, like you kind of like shave it off, it's like a green root vegetable, or, yeah, you get what the fuck I'm saying. So, I like to put a little bit of fucking wasabi, actually a lot of bit of wasabi, more than probably is the recommended amount on pieces of sushi. Muff cabbage, yeah. Yeah, I love to fuck, just fucking opens up the sinuses, you know. So, this sauce, both of the containers come with a dollop of wasabi, ginger, the product, and then a packet of soy sauce. This container has some soy sauce, so I'll add that to the plate also. And another fact about soy sauce consumption in Japanese culture is that any that's like left behind or wasted is that's considered rude also so considering all these fucking rules that they have for sushi I I don't really follow any of them because um, I just want to fucking eat the shit you know it's not a fucking religion to me so let's go for some uh, fish here now see I'm get, so as I'm stating these facts off, take it all with a grain of salt because, like, I did my best to, like, research it and uh, be up and up on, like, the knowledge. 
but like sashimi, to my understanding, I think is raw fish and not any rice, because nigiri is the is fish with the rice, but I was half fucking confused. I was trying to clarify it up for myself, and um, so you'll probably learn absolutely nothing from watching this. So if you enjoy just watching me eat food, then you'll enjoy this video. Mmm. God damn, this shit is good. The grocery store sushi. They make it fresh every day, and it's made by Japanese people. I see them in the store behind the counter making it. There's a place called Ben Guys, and it's a restaurant, and that's probably the best food in this, the city I live in. And um, this is comp comparable to that. I would say that Ben Guys sushi is just a little bit fresher. Someone says, I thought sashimi is raw fish on rice and sushi is cooked, mostly rolls. That sounds correct. So like I said, I was trying to, so I was trying to figure out what nigiri is. Fish eaten upside down is what I have on my notes. So if I take this fish and dip it in the soy sauce, and just to be fucking rude, I'm gonna shake it off like they told me not to do. They said that's the equivalent to like shaking your dick off in public. Mmm. So that, I, yeah, you know, that's an example of what you're not supposed to do, so. Learn by watching me. I fry sushi in bacon grease and butter. Mmm. The cake batter is good as a drink, a sweet dessert to this sushi meal. Let's, so they sell, um, I don't know if you can see, they put a fat wad of um, wasabi. You're actually supposed to dip fresh lettuce in soy sauce and use. Oh, okay. He should wash it down with fago on rice. That to brush food. See, that's what I fucking love about Juggalos is you get a bunch of them together and like they get shit done they know fucking shit so any shit that like i am unaware of like somebody is there to fucking be like actually this is the way it is so i fucking my hats off to all of you and i can't fucking wait till the gathering it's fucking almost a month away you know it's like a month and some days, like 33 days, 32 days, whatever we're at right now. So I break it up like in two weeks, it'll be like a week till it's time to go, you know? 32 days, Fallon George says. The plastic grass, on. can you eat the plastic grass, green grass? What happens after this? So um, anyway, let's keep fucking roll in here I'm gonna put some anyway I'll, I'll, what I was showing you was um, this fat wad of um, wasabi I've gone to the store before and it's just like this little like tidbit of it and I'm like oh man they're like fucking running out of the shit and I just barely got any wasabi so, so sometimes they sell in a container extra wasabi and I had some in my fridge for a while but I finally ran out um, and I tried to buy more at the store they had extra ginger and they had like uh, 
some sauce of some something else, but they didn't have um, any more like extra containers of wasabi to buy. They didn't have it the last couple of times I went there. But that sucks, but they hooked up the box pretty well and good. So also what I wanted to mention was I tried to find um, a container that had uh, eel in it, because that shit is like the best. Danny boy, skip. Skype message me at Brooklyn Mania. Time zones. You're supposed to mix minced ginger and wasabi in your soy sauce. But yeah, the eel kind. And it has like an eel sauce. It's just delicious, you know? And, uh,. I haven't found it the past couple of times that I've gone to the store. Mmm. It's fucking so good. Like, my favorite, I like the rolls, but my favorite is the raw fish on rice, and it's so good with, um, dipped in soy sauce. Oh, I'm not cleansing my palate with the fucking ginger like I ought to be. Now some people put the ginger on the sushi and you're not supposed to do it like that. Hmm. Let's try this Oreo cake better. It's very good. It's just a very different thing. I just think it loses the cake batter flavor. If you just want to taste straight up cake batter, go with the just plain cake batter. It's 50 cents cheaper. But if you're a big chocolate fan, Oreo flavor fan, spring for the Oreo. Um, I'm going to add some more wasabi to this uh, crispy crab roll. Mmm. Yeah, sushi's good as fuck, fam. The sticky rice, the crispy crunch of the crunchies they put on top, and the smooth mayonnaise mixture sauce, the yum yum sauce. And, uh, the crab flavor, it all just fucking comes together as this fucking flavor explosion. Who here in the comments section doesn't like sushi? Iceman's a picky guy, I wonder if he likes sushi. That's about it for the Oreo shake. Mm. It's pretty fucking good. I should mention that um, the sushi I bought from Earth Fair, I don't know if that's a chain or not. I know Trader Joe's is a chain. It seems like and that's a health food store. It's a chain on the East Coast. And I don't know. More northern part, you know, the northern part of the United States. Um, I don't know where all Trader Joe's go out in the country. Um, but Earth Fair, yeah, um, they told me today at the checkout that you can get $5 off your sushi every Wednesday. And I was like, holy shit, thank you for telling me that. 
because um, number one, I wanted to provide you guys with as much information as I could during the show. Number two, that's just good for me in general, because you got the... Um, The raw fish container was twelve fifty, so I could have got five bucks off that. That's like a big fucking amount of savings. And uh, the crispy crab roll was eight dollars. So if you're telling me that's five dollars off, I could have paid just three dollars for that. Like that's fucking crazy. Um. The problem for me is I don't eat sushi until the weekend normally. Like, I guess you could eat sushi on a Wednesday, no problem. But, like, I normally do, like, a meal prep during, like, on, like, on Monday I'll, like, cook food for the week and eat it and bring it to work and stuff and have, like, dinner. Like, I'll normally eat chicken and broccoli at work and, like, some... N almonds and a banana and yogurt for breakfast and shit like that and then when I get home from work I eat like salmon that I've cooked with like uh, squash and zucchini that I've made ahead of time and then on um, when the weekend comes I'll go to buy groceries again and usually usually it's like Sundays I'll eat like this shit of sushi um, so I don't eat sushi on Wednesdays, so that's the only fucking problem. And you can't buy the shit on a Wednesday and then wait to eat it a few days later because it's raw fish. Mmm. Fuck, man. So good. So you want to eat sushi the day of. I mean, I guess at the most you could keep it, like, buy it. Let's say Friday, keep it in your fridge overnight and eat it the next day on Saturday. But the longer you wait, the shittier it's going to be. Hmm. So, back to some crispy crab rolls. Like, I put, like to put fat dabs of the wasabi on my shit. A can of tuna fish is technically sushi. Sometimes I eat tuna on, like, during the middle of the week, just a plain can of tuna. I cleanse my palate with some ginger. so that I can grab some raw fish, dip it in the soy sauce, don't shake any excess off because that is rude. Unagi. I've had cake batter like type of shakes at sheets before. I'd have to have a side by side comparison with the Sonic drinks, but the Sonic shakes were not bad. So we got this fat wad of um, wasabi here in this other container so I'm going to add that because this container of the rolls had a smaller amount and it's already gone so
and I cleanse my palate with some ginger. And then we got one more piece of uh, the raw fish sushi. Got the shrimp. And I'm going to dip it in the soy sauce. Mmm. The shrimp one is that chewy, sticky rice. It's delicious. Mmm. It's just so fucking good. Got a couple more pieces of crispy crab roll. I'm gonna add some wasabi. Mm. That's good. Oh man, that's hot too. God damn. Mmm. Last one. And that's the last of the cake batter because on every episode of Juggalo's Review Foods, we eat the whole fucking thing, bitch. So now, um, it's basically going to be a fucking chat, hangout, fucking hangout with me until the next show. Like, <clears throat> it comes on, what time? We got 8.43, so we got 15 minutes. Stay tuned for an all new Cooking Mima next on Studio 17. Thank you, Not Slim One, for the teleprompter message. I got a little bit of ginger left, so I'm going to fucking make sure that it doesn't go to waste. Subscribe to Studio 17 if you have not. You'd be a stupid fucking son of a bitch to not. You're welcome, guys. Thank you for watching the show. Ross, when are you gonna get a P.O. box so we can send you food to try or gift cards for no mailable foods? When? Well, I'm not sure, uh, Mary Jane Monarch, but I should look into a way with, uh, a way of, uh, for people to send me some shit. That would be fucking awesome. Silent J says I'm at a Sonic now. They are out of cake batter shakes. I would burn that place to the fucking ground and kick the manager in the dick. That is correct. I am a gay Japanese. When I was born, they held me up and they said, It's a gay Japanese. And they slapped me.
Yeah, I've never looked into getting a P.O. box. I don't know what, if that costs money, or maybe it's a simple thing. Some other channels to subscribe to is fucking Ross TV. If you watch Ross TV but aren't subscribed to it, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to, like anybody on YouTube, get the fucking subscriptions up. Uh, you know, you, you reach a certain plateau with subscribers like. The rules with YouTube seem to change. I remember years ago, I could only do videos that were 15 minutes long because I didn't have X amount of subscribers or I'm not sure what the uh, plateau was that I had to reach for that to change. But then like it got to where I could do any type of length video and then um, I feel like there's like restrictions on if you can live stream from your phone and other stupid shit that YouTube tries to control. But yeah, please subscribe to Ross TV. And then when you're checking that channel out, from there you'll be directed toward a new channel coming called Juggalo's Review, which will be coming out very slim, soon. And, um, my friend, Not Slim One, Blake, uh, if you're not subscribed to his channel, do that because it's because of Blake that, uh, I've met much of my friends that I have now in the Juggalo community. Um, and that was all because of Juggalo's review, the show, you know, this show that I'm doing now, um, is what caused me to meet Blake. He saw the crab video and then commented, and then it's just crazily enough, like, I've gone to Hello Wicked with the dude, and he lets me stay at his house, which is very kind, and for free. So thanks, Blake, and, you know... If it wasn't for, you know, knowing him, I wouldn't know fucking Iceman, who is cool as shit. And just so many other people, I can't even name them all right now. Um, last year I camped with Brooklyn Menace and got to meet him. And, uh, Tall Tom, he may not be watching, but he was very cool and he liked me a good deal. So, and Mima's very nice and very cool and awesome and I'm just you know glad to know you guys and uh, I want to take the show to a very like personal and like uh, heartfelt place and I like we like to have a good time here and eat food and be silly and uh, all that kind of shit but um, Tall Tom was in the gathering commercial yes he was <clears throat> and he died in it Hope to see him at the gathering, and uh, this will be my eighth gathering, because I started gathering in 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, super gathering. So the Believer stream, the Believer stream got more viewers than this stream. Yeah, well, you know, I do what I can. You got 10 minutes left to do this show, so thank you guys for fucking watching. Um, yeah, the, ch the show that came on before, um, I don't know if the dude's name is Slayer or not, but that guy is, like, very entertaining, I'll have to say. I only have, this, that was the second time watching that fucking shit. Um, the other time, I watched it the other week, um, when Blake was on. 
and uh, Slayer 17 dominates. <laughs> yeah, he dominates big time. Um, so, I hope I run into Slayer at the gathering and uh, get him on one of my videos. That would be very good because he's just uh, very entertaining, you know? Like, what more can you say? Because he dominates, right? I guess that's what's... That's what's up. I'm so glad that the uh, chat is working again in this PS4 um, video forum, whatever it's called, the uh, fucking uh, playroom on the PS4. Like the last time I did a live show, I couldn't get this shit to work at all. Cause, and I would have to use my phone, but now, and I would get on the YouTube app on my phone and I would just like kind of like watch along with the live stream and then be able to check the comments like that. But looks like the shit's working again. So that's really good. I moved all of my talk show equipment into my attic. And it's like 110 fucking degrees up there. It's summertime, and I brought a little thermometer from Home Depot the other week to put up there to kind of, and, and also the thermometer, it was like a three, it was pretty cheap, it was like three dollar thermometer thing, and it shows if it's human heat, dry heat, whatever other kind of heat type there is, so it's like 110 dry heat, so dry heat's not too bad, it's not as bad as a human heat, but 100. 110 degrees is way too fucking hot. I can run shows up there if it's nighttime and it cools down. Um, that's when I filmed my sidetrack talk show. It was at nighttime after it had cooled down and I got like a fan up there and it was blowing on me. And then I just turned the gain down on my microphone lower to where you could just hear me talking mainly and not hear a fan running in the background but um i also have this water here so that's good to stay hydrated pro tip if you're going to gather is to drink lots of water and uh you know you can't just drink cake batter drinks Not Slim One usually brings um, cases of Canadian water, so that's always nice. Um, I dr we drink Deer Park in this household. Deer Park is a bunch of fucking bastards for the way that uh, I think the guy that owns it, the CEO of Deer Park, said that water is not a human right or some fucked up shit. And that's fucked. So we're at about 8.54 p.m. in the broadcast. And um, coming up next is Cooking Mima. Please stay the fuck tuned to Studio 17. And thank you for watching a clown painted freak eat sushi and drink cake batter. Um, not sure why. You'd want to check that out, but I'm glad that you, it piqued your interest. Sounds like it would be kind of fucking like, what the fuck? We are water, that's pretty true. Um, humans are made up of like a crazy amount of water, of what, like 90% plus water somehow. It's a strong percentage of the rest of the shit. I feel like we're like blood balloons. I don't we're full of like blood and not water. But I get I get I get what the science is saying of it, you know what I mean? Most of the earth is water. And I hope you bear with me for all of this like banter and small talk. I hope that uh 
you're following along pretty well. I had to kill like 15 minutes of just, you know, hanging out and talking. Hope that you're good to fucking chill with me here until the next show comes along. Thank you for watching fucking Studio 17. You're a true fucking uh, patriot. Even if you're from Canada. Uh, yeah. And it's my understanding that next week is Canada Day or some Canadian holiday of some type. I talked with Blake about it before the show. Um, and uh, next Friday is Canada something, Independence Day something. I know the 4th of July is coming up for America, but uh, Canada, for some reason, is having an Independence Day, perhaps. I might be wrong about that. He, he mentioned some sort of, it's Canada's birthday on Monday, says Iceman. On Monday, okay. So Canada's birthday is the same week as the 4th of July. Because isn't the 4th of July basically America's birthday? Anyway, um... It's about time to wrap the fucking shit up, fam. Um, I've enjoyed fucking hanging with you guys. It's about time for cooking Mima. Hopefully they're ready. There's still a couple of minutes left, so I don't want to fucking, like, rush them to be ready to go here. But, I mean, hopefully they're about there in the next two minutes. Thank you for watching Juggalo's fucking review. Um, subscribe to Ross TV. Stay on the lookout for Juggalo's review channel. And subscribe to that when it comes up. Stay tuned. And keep watching Studio 17 for Cooking Mima. She's going to be cooking up a fucking something for you guys to watch and enjoy. So, Lee... Halverson, you're welcome. That's my time. And, uh... Stay tuned to their show coming up now. And excuse me while I awkwardly end the broadcast.